So, in this video, we're going to be looking at um, a slightly trickier uh, problem than before. We're still sketching. Uh, it's still a curve that's in completed square form. Okay, uh, we've got this minus two on the outside, which is going to give us a little bit more uh, cause of thought. But um, let's see what happens. So by now, uh, you should probably be picking out the fact that right, we're just going to be looking at the uh, what's it, the number inside the bracket and the number that is outside the bracket, and currently pretty much ignoring that minus two. Um, in terms of finding the vertex. So we should by now be thinking, right, okay, so the vertex, we change the sign of the number that's inside the bracket and we uh, take the number that's outside the bracket as is, okay? So we know that the curve has a vertex at minus two, minus eight. So if I get some axes up, we're gonna have minus two, minus eight, let's say something down here, like that, okay? I also need to figure out where does it cross the y-axis, and in, to do that I need to multiply out the brackets as usual. So we've got y is equal to, I'm going to leave that minus 2 there, multiply out the brackets, x squared plus 4x plus 4, and I've got that takeaway 8 on the outside. So we've got minus 2x squared, uh, minus 8x, minus 2 times 4 is minus 8, so we've got minus 16. So I know that the curve crosses the y-axis at minus 16. Ah, but hang on a minute. If it's going through this point and this point, the curve must actually look something like this. Okay? So it is actually upside down to what we would usually be sketching. And it is because of the negative in front of the x squared. Okay? The negative sign reverses the direction of the parabola. So in actual fact, if you have a negative number in front of the x squared, then you get what some people think of as a sad face. Happy face if you've got a positive number, uh, but a sad face if you've got a negative number. Okay, so it is reversed. So don't, if you ever get a negative amount of x squared, what's going to happen is that you actually have a parabola that is upside down to usual, okay? So don't let that worry you, but you go through exactly the same process as you normally would. 